Here are half a dozen used filament assemblies for electron impact from a mass spectrometer. The first one here, let me highlight it with a uh, laser pointer. It actually has a, a sagging filament. And let me take a close-up of it. And so there's a close-up of the filament assembly, the one with the sagging filament. Right about there. And drops down in the middle. And for comparison, let's com let me show you a uh, H7 headlight bulb and its filament. All right, so the filament on the left is the that sagging one from the mass spec electron impact and let me see if I can highlight the one the section from the car headlight and it should be right there that that's the part that's remaining has a coil to it uh, half the coil burnt out generated the black smudge on the inside of the headlight bulb All right. So they're both tungsten filaments, and they're relatively comparable. And if you ever get a chance to see an electron impact source on, that you can see the filament while it's on, there, and there are a couple of models like that, uh, you'll see that it generates light also. This is looking in on the viewport of a 5973C electron impact source, and I think it's a dual filament. A GC effluent's coming in on the right, and the filaments are off. And to give you a sense of perspective, if we zoom back, that's where the source is. Okay, sample was injected 2.1 minutes ago, filament is off, and just about now that should come on, and look at that, see it glows like a light bulb. And let me see if I can zoom in a little bit more. So that's with the filament on, and it must be the upper filament, the one to which the white wires are connected. And just to get some other views let's see, of the electron impact filament on. So it is similar to that filament find in old-fashioned light bulbs, tungsten filaments.